In this video, I'm going to show you one of the best passing concepts out of the U-Trips formation. We're going to be taking a look at a variation of the Y-Cross concept. If you guys don't know what the Y-Cross concept is, I created a free ebook to help people understand the top five passing concepts in any passing offense in Madden. You will find these five concepts in bunch, in U-Trips, in tight, in trips, in spread, in I-Form close. It doesn't matter the formation. It doesn't matter the year. The Every offense hinges on these five concepts, and you can learn them completely for free. If you you want to join or if you uh, sign up at the link in the patreon there's a free ebook and the link is down below that you can get access to it it'll teach you those five concepts in about an hour and it goes into extreme detail as to why those concepts are the best concepts year in and year out so I'd really encourage you to take a look at that the play we're gonna be taking a look at today is tight end whip you can do this out of any play in the formation but I do believe tight end whip gives you the best chance for success and the setup is simple all we're going to do you don't need hot master you don't need anything for this all we're going to do is we're going to streak our outside trips receiver. The U trips is also real quick. U trips is in the Patriots um, offensive playbook, and it's the Y off trips pass. But everybody just knows this formation as U trips because it's what it used to be called. Okay, so we're going to streak that outside receiver. We're then going to slant our slot receiver, and then we're going to block our running back for protection. And what you're going to notice here is we're just going to motion this guy across, and we're going to snap the ball just before he sets on the outside. And our first read is this deep fade or this deep streak. Now, this deep streak, if they are playing press man, press man is actually becoming very popular to post patch. If they are playing press man coverage and you have the short out elite ability, please do not hesitate to take a look at that deep bomb over the top. It is almost always open if you have short out elite and they press you and they actually jam the receiver. If they don't jam the receiver, then it might not be open. But if they do if they do jam the receiver, that's definitely worth a look. Now, the next read on the play is we're going to progress from the fade or from the streak to this little whip route to the tight end. This is one of the best routes year after year um, against man coverage. Now, if you don't like that route, let's say that that route's not consistent enough for you. Let's say that that route is just not effective for you. Let's say that the route runs too slow, which I personally think it runs too slow this year. One of the best things that you can do with this play is you just put this receiver on an out route and then run your setup like this. And what you're going to notice is that this out route almost always is going to out leverage the defender to the sideline. From there, your eyes are going to progress to the to the middle of the field. And in the middle of the field, you're typically going to have um, you know, your slant or your post. One of those routes is almost always going to beat man coverage. And it becomes a game of where does the user go? Where does the user go? Who does the user decide to guard? Most of the time they're going to guard this post. So you're going to throw the slant right open, wide open, right in that little pocket. I will say after running this a lot and kind of testing this concept, um, this this specific setup out of U-Trips is really, really good because of the fact that you're snapping the slant just before he sets. There's something to that this year that if you even if you you see it in bunch when they motion the slant out, you see it in U-Trips when they motion across and they snap just before he sets, he gets significantly better separation than if you snap him like right when he passes the tackle so kind of a critical little uh, concept about the slant the slant this year in my opinion so as you can see you have a lot of versatility against man coverage you're going to be able to really take man coverage out of the picture and they're going to have to play zone and when they start to have to play zone this play is also really good because it spaces the field really really well you, when you want attack zone you want routes that attack the whole field the first read is always this tight end out route against zone well i mean technically the first read is a streak but as soon as you see those zones bail backward then your immediate next step is to look and see do am i able to hit am i able to hit my tight end to the flat if you can hit that tight end to the flat that route is going to annoy your opponent oftentimes it's going to get you at least 10 to 15 yards so now they're going to play hard flats and now now we're back to kind of the same basic mechanic can we hit the post or can we hit the slant um that's a, the basic question uh that this this play asks and again i call this a y cross concept and the main reason why is because you're really reading this crossing route to the backside slant. Um, whereas in a slant post or shallow, you're still reading the dig to the slant, but you're just doing it in a different, a little bit different of a progression. So if they do stay on the slant, then this route is likely to be open over the over the middle of the field, right in that little area. Another thing that's really underrated about this, a lot of people 
a lot of people when they play zone, like let's, and I'm going to give you an illustration of a slant. So let's say they, they really try to get out there. They really try to lurk the slant. What happens is a lot of times, this is actually very consistent against a lot of different zones, is when they jump this, the slant route, you can highball, highball this right in here and ag it and just cut it off right there in front of the zones. Super, super effective little play right there. All right, so that's really a that's really pretty much every zone. I'm going to show you cover three real quick, and then we're going to progress and talk about uh, cover two, and then we'll talk a little bit about match, so that you can get a picture of how to basic how to basic cover just play this that you're going to probably see. So again, here here's cover three. Again, high ball agate once it gets behind the yellow, super super effective. Cover three and cover four are fairly similar in terms of how the zones. Um, are going to play this play. Cover two is a little bit different in the fact that you do have this outside defender uh, on the right. Sometimes in cover two, it's worth a look. This deep streak, you can freeform this deep streak to the sideline. Now right here, he gets a good press animation, so we're not gonna throw that. We're gonna step up and we're gonna look for our curl or whatever. There are times, however, especially in this Madden, where they will get a really good animation. That could be a couple different reasons for that. Um, they may be in cover two sync. They may be in cover two hard flats. Um, but because of this tight end out route, he's going to kind of pull the flat down. And so if they don't press him, um, you can freeform that up into the sideline and almost throw an interception. You can sometimes freeform it up into the sideline. If you really want to attack the seams, it's not exactly the perfect play for this. But there is a window on this fade. And again, it, it has to do with your ability to freeform, which mine is relatively lackluster uh, this year. Um, but it, it, it does have, you know, again... You want to try to get it out here just like that now if they have a ko chances are they have a pretty decent shot there's another play in this playbook called titan deep out that will give you a little bit better of a clear out route on that on that side it's going to be a little bit more of a fade style clear out and that route will be able to get a little bit more sideline uh depth if you will against the cover so at least worth a worth a look Anyway, uh, what about match coverage? With match coverage, really, the two main things, your post is going to be your main read. Your slant route is really off of the user. Again, in match coverage, generally speaking, you're either going to have your tight end out. Chances are the tight end, the tight end out route's not going to be there. I will show you one other cool thing against match in just a second. But the other thing that you – the main thing that you have here is – now they have to guard that post in the middle of the field. Super difficult play for them to make. You see that post. Now, if they roll, if they roll themselves back to guarding the post, which to give you the best example, I'm going to put a mid read. It's probably the best zone for guarding uh, Julian Edelman's route in the game. If they are able to get back on this route via a mid read or something like that, then your slant is going to be open right in that little pocket right there. All right. So kind of it's it, a lot of it's based off of uh, what does the user do and why does he do that? All right. Something I did want to show against match real quick is sometimes a streak route, depending on the locomotion, again, depending on movement, if it's match coverage, sometimes a streak route, you'll see here, see how they kind of bump. You can freeform and high point it up and over and you have a shot. So I just wanted to show that just real quick because I have thrown so many touchdowns on that, especially if they're not rocking KOs on their outside and they're running this. If they're not rocking like deep out zone knockouts, this this right here alone can crucify mats. It's just a simple streak, but they almost always do that little bump right there and it gives him that over the shoulder animation and you can do something just like that. All right, so that is how you run the Y cross play out of U trips from that perspective. One of the best concepts in the game. If you want to get my entire U trips offensive ebook, make sure that you're in the Patreon. That's where you're going to get access to all of our Man 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, including the U trips offense. Thanks for watching. If you want to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description and go click the link down below.